All right, at last it is time to assemble the collection of mini cuboids. So, I have one 3x3x5, three by three by one 2x2x5, two by two by a 2x3x5, another 2x3x5. So what's the deal here? What's going on? Now these puzzles kind of fit together in sort of a cool way. What's going on um, here is they fit to create a pseudo 5x5. Now it's a little lumpy, but uh, you know I think the illusion from a distance kind of holds up. So why? Why would I do this? The reason is ever since I started cubing, I've always had this dream. I always thought it was the the coolest idea, if you split a 5x5 like this, if you could just take, you know, take this 2x2x5 section off and then these sections off and create the mini cuboids, I always just thought it was the coolest, like, just a really awesome idea. Now, you can't actually make a fully functional 5x5 that you can just take these pieces off and then have these fully functional cuboids, but even then, I just wanted cuboids that were that small with 5x5 sized uh, cubies and as you can see here these are 5x5 sized cubies they're the same height so this pseudo 5x5 though it doesn't turn like a 5x5 it does have kind of that uh, magical property in which if you were to make sort of this kind of thing going on here like that you could take the QB off, or uh, take a chunk off, and then you have, uh, with proportional QBs, um, the fully functional mini cuboid. And uh, I just thought it was a really neat concept, so I wanted to go ahead and make one. And this is the result. So yeah, it's been a long time uh, in the making. Thank you for watching.